Hi, I'm Brian Canone here with uh, FitnessSalesTrain.com and I'm here with Will Rivera talking about personal training. Um, there are a lot of software programs to use for personal training that are going to help you um, when you're processing credit cards, when you're taking payments, when you're scheduling your clients. This is an old school way that I first started with and we did it for years. And you can make a lot of money doing it this way and using your regular club software that you fill out your regular memberships with. It's pretty simple. First off, you want a nice big scheduler book at the front desk. Um, nowadays, we use them online, um, which is another software. It could be another expense. For somebody starting out with a studio, this is a good way to do it. You take your trainers and you put their names down up top. So you have, um, you know, Will, you're working over here and you're working uh, two to eight. You're going to say, well, I'm available to work from 2 to 8. You highlight this time out. Now what you do is you have your front desk staff and yourself. You put in all your clients. Now your paid clients are going to go and you're going to write them in. Now you can either do half hour blocks in here or hour blocks. You're going to put the client and their telephone number. All right. You're going to remember to do a 24 hour reminder call to remind them to come in the next day to have their session. You're going to really try to let people know you're buying my time. So when you're seeing me Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and you're coming in at two o'clock, that's your time. So you're gonna have less people rescheduling on you when they know they're buying a certain hour of your time schedule. So always remember as a trainer, the only thing you really, you know, it's, it's time, you know, that's what you're selling. Um, you wanna make that something that they realize. You know, a lot of people, they, they buy 10 sessions and then there's no time, they just go on forever because they don't show up. You want to say, hey, listen, I'm going to see you for the next six weeks. We're going to see you at 2 o'clock, and that's your time. And put them in right for the next six weeks. Now, they may reschedule. Yeah, I would recommend you always write in pencil. Things are going to happen. They're going to change. You know. But for the most part, you know what you're working. Now, what you want to do is get your fitness consultations. The new people you're going to meet that just joined the health club, they're going to be put in also. And you want to know that that's a fitness consultation, and that's really important that you're going to meet with these people. All right, so you're going to give those people a special workout. You're going to sit down with them. You can do a consultation. You should have some forms ready of questions you're going to ask them. So we have some forms here. Your health and fitness readiness form. Um, your name, your address, your information about yourself, your contact information. You're going to do a body fat test over here. You're going to test somebody's um, weight and you're going to go over some measurements too. You can also do like their bicep, triceps, and girth measurements that you do. On the back side, there's more questions that have to do with their exercise history, um, any medical problems, things like that. Before you start walking people through the floor, give them a workout, sit down with them, spend some time, find out about them, and especially what their goal is. If somebody really doesn't have a fitness goal, it's very hard to sell them some personal training. You want to find out what they're looking to do. Another sheet that I have here, is a training assessment profile to get a little bit deeper questions to really pull out their goals and find out exactly what they're looking to do and when and what their commitment is to reach that goal by. So it can help you um, when you're meeting with that person to go over that. Um, there's a lot more to go into with that in the fitness consultation and as far as the sales go and the, what they're going to say. You know. Once you start going through so many clients, you're going to realize that they're going to have to ask their husband or wife. Right. They're going to have to think about it. You want to find out what is it exactly you want to think about, you know. And it could be money, commitment, or asking your husband or wife. Those are your main three that you're going to find out about, and you're going to be following up with these people. It's not a hard sell. You're not trying to really, um, you know, not let the people out of your office, you know, right. unless they want to buy. But you do want to question them on it, and you want to find out exactly, you know, well, what would hold you back from this? What would it take? You know, what is, you know, the thing that's stopping you from this? All right, so now you have your, in your book, if they want to purchase training, you're going to find out which type of session they want. Now, keep your packages pretty simple. Don't go crazy. I like to offer hour sessions first before I bust out the half-hour sessions, okay? Um, half-hours are real popular now because... If you do get somebody that doesn't show up for their session, at least you're going to get that half hour person in. So you're not going to miss out completely on an hour standing around the gym when you're here and you get a no show. All right. So what I have is different plans, and I call them um, once a week was an educational plan, twice a week is a motivational plan, and three times a week is a transformational plan. All right. 
So try to name your plans that have something to do with goals, weight loss, and what they're looking to accomplish. So you can relate that to them. Okay? Because the goal of how many times they see you has to do with what they're looking to accomplish, but it also has a lot to do with their budget and what they can afford to do. But you want to always base it on their goal and not on financial reasons. Okay. So now once you go with the hour sessions, if somebody was going to do it based on, on what I have here, if they're with you for an hour, it's, it's $234 a month. So now you have a membership agreement and you're going to take some billing information and you're going to set them up so they're on billing with you. You're going to ask them for a three month commitment and then roll them over into a month to month package. All right, so now you're not reselling somebody. When you start selling sessions for 10, 20, and 30 sessions, right, right. you have to then resell that person over and over again. If you have them on auto billing, it's really going to make your life a lot easier. You're not reselling that person over and over again. Okay? They bought their time, they're with you, you plan them to be with you forever. Okay? Unless something happens, you ask them to give you a 30 days notice of cancellation in writing. Okay? So now, what I did is once, now if you have trainers underneath you that work for you, and you pay them a little bit less than what the package is, and, and they have a structure, say someone makes $18 an hour instead of 30, and you're the head of the department, what I would do is then get all my clients to have a card like this. The simple way to do it, you get them made at Kinko's, you want you to lay it out. The back has their name information, their phone number on there. On the front, it has spaces for 30 sessions. All right, so if you bought 30 sessions from me, I'm going to mark it off on this card when you come in each time. I have a box at the front counter. When you come in, I say, hey, Will, you're here with session number two. I want you to just put your initials on here and the date, okay? You put that on there, I put it back in your box. This allows you to keep all of your trainers accountable, all right, that they're really training these people, okay? Um, you're gonna pull this out at the end of the week. You're gonna highlight the spot that the person came in. You're gonna highlight their card. And then you're gonna have a commission sheet for the person. So on the commission sheet, you're gonna have the day, the time, the number session of the package. So two of 30, three of 30. All right, the client name, the program they're on, once, two, or three times a week, and the amount that they get paid on that person, okay? I like to do a tiered commission payment structure. So a new trainer come in starting at $18 an hour. Once they build up their book to 20 clients a week, paid sessions, you can start paying them more. And then get them in for 30 sessions, 40 sessions, they go to $30, $35 per hour paid, all right? And then we paid out weekly, I would take this Commission sheet, and I highlight it. I, I highlight the card. And I highlight their book. You're triple checking all of your stuff here, all right? And you're able to do this very inexpensively. You don't need some crazy software. Um, even if you only had a credit card machine, you're going to punch the numbers in once a month, and you're going to see. You know, it's really going to help you run your business. You know what you're doing. Um, very easy way to do it. Now the software is. There's a lot of software that I recommend that takes this to a whole other level, okay? This is a great way to start.